Hey, I'm Anthony, the Vehicle Hunter. Today we're going to be looking at this 1996 Acura Integra LS. I met her in a club down in Old Soho Where you drink champagne and it tastes just like Coca-Cola C-O-L-A Cola She walked up to me and she asked me to dance I asked her her name and in a top brown voice she said hello So this car belonged to Liz Marcus. She is the original owner, bought it off the showroom floor, and um, was in a pretty committed relationship with it. This car was purchased in 1996, and it's now 2017, and she's had it this, this whole time. And uh, she did not replace it with another car. So she did not leave it because she found something better. Um, she left it because she lives in Washington, D.C. and is in a position where she can go car free, lives close enough to a metro, can rely on Uber or Zipcar as needed, so she's going to go car free and that would probably be the only reason she would get rid of her baby Lola. Tedra came in a lot of different editions. They had two and four door, uh, two door coupes, two door hatchbacks, two door, uh, four door sedans. Um, GS model, LS model, GSR model, special editions. This here is a middle of the road LS edition. It does have a manual transmission, which is very fun to drive. Approximately 140 horsepower, four cylinder, 1.8 liter four cylinder engine producing 142 horsepower. Integra LS Luxury Sport, available in both a coupe and a sedan. In addition to the features the RS has, the LS adds air conditioning, power windows and door locks, cruise control, and a moonroof. So, you see my moonroof, we've got a button to engage the cruise control over here, and then you can set and accelerate on your steering wheel. Typically sparse Honda setup, although it does have like a little bit of a cockpit feel. You have like a fighter fighter pilot yoke over here for the uh, for the shifter. Heat and air conditioning. On off switch for the window control and then your windows themselves. So I've always been a big fan of Honda interiors. I feel they give you everything you need right where you need it and try to leave out what you don't need. I really like the stick shift on this car. It kind of feels like you're a fighter pilot when you grip onto it. Emergency brake right where you need it, a little bit of storage. Unfortunately, the um, ability to store drinks had not evolved quite far enough back in 1996, so you have just uh, two rudimentary cup holders. You've got a proper cigarette lighter, still has a picture of a cigarette on it. Proper ashtray. Little uh, extra space here for where the CD player option was not optioned. Um, cassette player. I love this nice tight steering wheel, it is adjustable, give you a little bit of room, maybe not as adjustable as one would like, but wipers, got your blinkers on the other side, your headlights, cruise control activation switch over here, moonroof over here where it's easy to reach. You can see for a six footer, if you look at where my head is, this would not be considered ideal. So any rear occupants should be vertically challenged or children. Our trunk lid does not match because there was a mishap where some ice fell off a balcony and this Lola was parked below the balcony. So this is a trunk lid that has been sourced from a junkyard. Um, little hatch cover, donut size spare. Looks like it was never even removed from the car. We've got our tools for changing and a jack in there as well. It was well maintained, lovingly maintained. <laughs> 